Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 20th, 2021. Holy cow, it's hard to believe there we are this far through the month, and my goodness, we have a market that is a little bit challenging to deal with. Lots of bullishness, lots of uncertainty, earnings rolling out. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in and see if we can get some information here on how we might want to approach today's market as we look at the technicals here in the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. I hope you all had a great afternoon and evening yesterday. Um, futures overnight tried to perk up but boy this morning we're actually going the other direction uh, we saw asia markets last night have kind of a rough night china kept its uh, benchmark lending um, rate unchanged and japan dropped two percent um, overnight last night and then we see european markets um, all looking lower this morning is there seems to be kind of an ugly little wave of negative global sentiment kind of rolling our direction. U.S. futures that were higher um, early last night um, have turned all negative, and we're looking for a bit of a lower opening uh, today as we head into some big deck tech reports. So let's take a look at um, what we've got going on here. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds, our current upside trend, notice we're holding in here just fine, but to this morning we're looking at a pre-market pullback that could back come down into here, maybe test that trend a little bit and kind of test that area of price support. Could be a little bit painful this morning, particularly if we were to push on through, if those bears were to find some reason for inspiration to push on through, that could be just a little bit painful. So watch that carefully if that were to occur. Remember, we are in a very extended market condition. We are extremely elevated from our 50-day moving average. And, you know, we can stay that way for a while, but just keep in mind that if we were to find any kind of a reason to stumble, the pullback even to some of the um, uh, smaller moving averages could be painful. And if we were to, um, let's go to the Dow, if we were to pull back into um, this area of price support down in here, that big high right there. Just notice that's a thousand points lower. So just keep in mind as you're progressing forward, not to over trade because the pain of a pullback could be substantial if that were to occur. Let's take a look at um, the SPY, SPY. Now SPY is really probably the most vulnerable of the markets or of the indexes right now because we have little to no price support under um, this price action. Notice that if I were to draw, connect, I'm even going to use just the bodies of the candles, not the wicks. Notice that if we were to even to come back to contact this trend, that is a substantial pullback that could be possible. We have a little tiny bit of price support right in here that could hold us. But if that doesn't hold, just kind of keep in mind how far that could potentially pull back to find some support. Now, it is entirely possible that we could get more of a, just a resting consolidation out here toward trend, but just know that that can create some pretty choppy conditions around earnings. So watch that closely. There is a little bit of concern here. And yesterday we left behind kind of a evening star type pattern. Now that is a typical topping pattern that can be seen in a move, but I don't know that the market is really in a real bearish selling mood um, overall with all of the stimulus and everything floating around out there, lowered um, analyst expectations and things like that. But what it can create is significant volatility that can make it very, very challenging and really chop up accounts really quickly. Um, so just watch that pretty closely, that pullback in here. I think SPY is probably the most vulnerable of a substantial pullback, and we'll have to watch those big techs uh, pretty closely to make sure that they hold on to, um, to um, those good pricings that we've been trying to push into uh, these stocks. Let's take a look at um, the Qs. Now the QQQ, 
um, actually broke through some resistance up here. So you can see breaking through this resistance, that gives us a little bit more safety or security in this chart. At least we have some price support in here to potentially hold this up. Although we are quite extended in this move, you can see we're starting to, to build out maybe a little bit of a resting pattern in here, trying to shift lower. Now take a look at our current trend. That would suggest that we could pull back or consolidate for a long period of time in the market. It's gonna be interesting to find out whether earnings can inspire us to continue to move higher. One thing that is um, kind of a glaring thing right now is that um, even though analysts have lowered expectations, we saw our ba big banks just blow past our earnings, but they aren't really responding um, a lot higher with buyers, which makes me wonder if uh, companies are going to have to report near perfection numbers to support these current prices. That creates that extra level of danger where we could have some pretty substantial whipsaws and intraday price moves. So really be on your toes and make sure not to become complacent or be over trading in this market. It's the kind of market that could really chop up accounts. So watch that carefully. Um, if we take a look, um, the next level of support, notice if we don't hold this in here, there really isn't any price support in the NASDAQ until we push all the way back here. And that could be a um, extremely painful situation should those bears find some reason to attack. Let's take a look at um, our IWM. Now IWM is continuing to struggle here just a little bit. Our financial sector, as I was mentioning, XLF here, our financial sector has really been unable to really respond to these big bank earnings that have just blown away estimates but we're not getting that big bullish move in here. Now, certainly we've been holding up strong. We're starting to show a little bit of pressure here. You would have thought with such strong, strong results from the banks, we would see um, these stocks really zooming to the upside. We're not doing that. And there is just a little bit of worry here that we may struggle in this area. So watch that close. And the same thing with energy. Energy continues to struggle here, this kind of protracted pullback going on. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely, and that's going to be directly affecting the um, Russell Index, or IWM. Keep a close eye on this. Notice that we have a downtrend that is starting to build in here, and notice that this little uptrend has started to give up just a little bit. We're pushing down again this morning in the pre-market. We do have some price support right in here that could catch us. So it's possible we could hit some price support, bounce right off of that, and everything's copacetic. But let's keep in mind that it really wouldn't be all that tough for us to drop down through there and then start seeking lows, um, new areas of price support in that chart. So watch that closely. I think for me to get bullish with IWM at this point, we're going to have to see IWM break that downtrend, hold it as support, and then um, show me some buyers in there and there may be some opportunities at that point. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday saw a pretty substantial rally, but by the end of the day, we were giving it back um, as the market tried to rally right at the end of the day. As a matter of fact, there was a big surge right at the end of the day um, trying to push the market back up. So watch that closely here. We've got a little bit of an elevation um, starting to show up here, maybe a little teeny tiny fear starting to creep up in that. Now, once again, I don't think that's gonna be a major problem as long as we can maintain downtrend. Um, notice we have kind of a downtrend through here. We could mark a downtrend through here. So as long as we can maintain that downtrend. Now, I don't even think it's gonna be all that bad if we rally back up into this area right here. As long as we hold that as resistance and um, push that back down, we don't wanna see us pushing back up there and holding that as support. Hold it as resistance and we could be in good shape. Hold it as support, we've got problems ahead. So watch uh, the VIX closely. Let's take a look 
at our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now with yesterday's selling, we pulled back nicely. Notice we still have a ways to go. Um, we were closer down here to you know the 50 uh, percent area here on our t2122 but that end the day surge pushed us right back up so what that tells us is we have an open door if the bulls can get inspired now we have that upside potential that could occur here in the market but with the bearishness that we see this morning um, we know that we also have this big opening for that potential downside move. So T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the movement. It just tell us, tells us when we're kind of in that overbought or oversold condition. So uh, keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible here on T2122. T2101 continues to give me um, significant concern, um, seeing that our absolute market breadth continues to decline. Um, in this market we are in a downtrend here as you can see and yesterday we are we were continuing this decline this pullback in t2101 so giving me a little bit of concern um, as we're so elevated in this market but we cannot seem to um, garner a whole lot of market breadth um, in that move so watch this closely there's some uh, there's some things out there that just make you go hmm and, and should make you just a little bit on the cautious side and um, wanting to avoid complacency so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and i'll tell you our economic calendar is pretty darn boring this week um, we don't have um, anything in here that's a major report. Notice we got some bond announcements and, and uh, 52 week auction, but other than this Red Book report, and you know, nobody cares about that, um, not likely to do much of anything in here. Tomorrow we have the petroleum status and a 20 year bond auction. That's going to be something to pay attention to. Um, both of those um, as we have bonds rising again this morning um, with that and of course mortgage applications have been a little bit problematic here lately we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that that could give us some clues to uh, the housing numbers coming up later this week let's take a look at our earnings calendar today now our earnings calendar we're starting to ramp up on that earnings and um, we're going to continue this process we're going to be up around well probably a hundred or so by thursday of earnings reports as we continue to roll out now we've got a couple of news events today that we'll want to pay attention to um, apple will doing uh, um, will be doing a product release today new product you know they come out with their big dog and pony show and you know that can create some movement in apple apple being so giant okay um, it's going to be really really important how apple responds if apple starts to slip that could be a little problem a little bit of a problem for um both uh, well all three the diamond spy and qqq so we'll want to watch that closely and then later today um, after the bell, we have a Netflix report. And Netflix, as we know, one of being one of the big tech giants, can certainly move the market. And we're entering that period of earnings season where we can really see um, the risk of big morning gaps. Now, what I mean by that is we get these a lot of these big tech reports, so they come after the bell, which sets us up for either a large gap up or a large gap down, depending on how they report. We're going to have to be preparing for that and making sure that we're planning for that risk as we start progressing into these big tech reports. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that are going to report today. Um, remember Remember guys that if this is the first time um, you have seen these videos to click that link underneath the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get a full list of the notable reports that I've put in the blog I can't cover them all and and obviously as we continue to build I will not be able to keep up with 
all of those potential reports. But here's the first. Netflix will be reporting after the bell today, one of the first of the big techs that are going to be going to be reporting. So keep a close eye on that later on today. We're going to hear from ABT. Abbott Labs will be reporting. Um, look at this. We're getting a big, ugly candle here in the pre-market. Abbott Labs must have disappointed this morning and a possible trend break as um, this will gap down pretty substantially this morning. So keep a close eye on that. We have Auto Nation reporting. Looks like they have reported a bullish move here. You can see we're stretching out here in AutoNation. Very, very strong um, uh, trending chart. Looks like AutoNation is going to move to the top side. Uh, we're going to hear from Dow uh, Chemical here this morning. Watch that closely. This has been running in a consolidation. We're going to get Fifth Third Bank. Um, will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. Banks, uh, even though they've reported very well, just haven't seen a lot of um, good price action after their reports. Um, we're gonna hear from J&J uh, &J this morning, and we're also going to hear from Procter & Gamble this morning. Both of those could be interesting reports considering COVID and the medications and things that they have, vaccines that they have been providing out there. Um, just kind of keep an eye on those. That could be an interesting um, area to watch. We're going to hear from uh, Philip Morris. Now, Philip Morris had a little bit of a problem yesterday, and that um, came in when uh, President Biden said he's looking at a new initiative against um, the cigarette industry and nicotine and all kinds of things. So um, keep a close eye on that. It really affected Altria yesterday. It just dropped like a rock and continues to move lower here this morning. This was setting up as a beautiful chart. Just got hammered here by political news. So watch that closely. So um, then we're going to have, we're going to see um, some of the insurance industry travelers uh, reporting today. Looks like it's trying to move here in a positive move this morning. And XRX, Xerox, will be reporting this morning. Looks like a gap down, trying to push up a little bit this morning, but watch that. Again, make sure you go back to the blog. Click that link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the full list of those notable reports this morning. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Keep in mind that um, if you can, if you feel that the video was worthy, if you click that thumbs up button, and leave a brief comment, it helps the channel to continue to grow. And one more time, I just got to keep doing this. A huge shout out to those of you that are taking, uh, clicking that link below the title of the video for buy me a coffee, supporting the channel that way. Truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at um, the stocks and remember there are not recommendations to buy or sell. You have to do your own due diligence, making sure that you are paying attention to the risks that are associated with trading. Um, and make sure that you never ever blindly follow someone else's trade. I placed a price alert yesterday on this XLC communications and you can see we've been in a nice little tight consolidation but so far just haven't quite been able to push through and with the bearishness this morning we're showing a little bit of a pullback into that support area so watch that closely if this has that opportunity opportunity to become inspired i would look for that pop out and just a continuation of this beautiful upside trend that's been going on in communications take a look at uber uber was getting ready to set up and move higher and then suddenly yesterday we got whacked pretty hard here in uber i was watching this for an upside move so i'm gonna have to drop this out of my list right now until this um, corrects that move but honestly we could start to see some bearish price action show up in here notice these tops where you just keep struggling up here so if this were to break down hold a lower high um, could be a shorting opportunity that could set up. So watch that closely. A lot of these stocks are so elevated. We're just at those pr places where we could either break higher or break lower so easily. 
<clears throat> we're going to have to watch those very, very closely. Take a look at RTX. Now, RTX, with all of the saber rattling between China and Taiwan and the worries of uh, things going on there, we might want to keep an eye on some of these aerospace defense sector stocks. Take a look at RTX. RTX holding up really, really well, setting up in this trend. There may be some upside um, opportunity in here. Um, you might want to take a look at NOC as well. NOC has been in a screaming upside move, popping a little bit this morning um, after a pullback, but watch that closely. We're gonna start seeing some of those um, sectors perk back up. You might want to take a look at Lululemon. Lulu has broken through its big downtrend here, holding some price support and consolidating that move out here. Now we've got that bearishness in the market that's creating a little bit of trouble here this morning. But let's just note if we hold in this area, we could slide all the way out here to trend and still be okay. Watch for that upside opportunity if Lulu can hold in that area. Take a look at Kroger. Now, a lot of packaged food companies have been holding up really, really strong. And I actually picked up a position in Kroger yesterday. It's looking very, very good here. Watch that closely. Kroger holding up nicely in this nice little consolidating pattern. It's kind of a slow, steady upside grinding trend. I like those boring kind of grinding trends. Watch this in here if this continues to complete this little pullback. Watch for that opportunity to maybe move on through and move higher. So <clears throat> there are a few stocks for you to take a look at, a um, few stocks that you could put on your list. Keep in mind, guys, we, we could have a very, very challenging market today with um, Apple News, Netflix, anticipation of, of um, Netflix in the beginning of the big techs. So just be careful. Try not to overtrade. Try not to um, anticipate positions. Be really dil diligent in your trading because this is one of those markets that could be very, very punishing if you happen to be wrong on direction. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you great success and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.